Closing in on the last days of our Murphy Challenge at Seven Steps to Quit. Hope you've been able to hang in there with us. This entire challenge has been a form of high interval intensity or high intensity interval training um, that's become a phenomenon for trying to cut fat. That's what we're going to focus on right now, the HIIT aspects of this challenge. Well, getting set for another one of our glorious days on this challenge. And I am really curious as to the level of fat that I've lost during this whole experience because one thing is for sure this entire 30 day challenge has been a serious cardiovascular challenge as well you go from one to the other to the other and I find myself gasping for air you know and come to find out it's actually a high intensity interval workout and initially I thought those were always you know if you were running real fast and that was it but no there's different ways to have high intensity interval workouts and they are effective in cutting fat because I've seen fat being cut off my sides during this whole 20 plus near 30 day experiment uh, because the running part that we do in this particular challenge is just the warm up. We have two examples here of a high intensity interval training workout. One is a more run driven example and another one is based more on calisthenics. For example, for the run one, uh, we start off with one minute of walking, then you follow that by 30 seconds of running. One minute of walking, 30 seconds of running, one minute walking, 30 seconds of running, one minute walk, 30 seconds run, 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 one minute walking. Short, sweet, to the point type of a workout. Or you could get the example number two where you do squats for 30 seconds, you rest 15, burpees for 30 seconds rest for 15. Jumping lunges, 30 seconds, rest for 15. Push-ups for 30 seconds, rest for 15. High knees for 30 seconds, rest for 15. Plank for 30 seconds, rest for 15. Bear walk for 30 seconds, rest for a minute, and then repeat that cycle two to three times. You can repeat each one two to three times, but those are examples of how high intensity interval workouts can differ but have the same kind of results. I know one thing that when you book in this workout with this mile at the beginning and this mile at the end, it gives me more cardio than I bargained for, but uh, it's not the same as high intensity interval because with that, it's a start stop situation. It's sort of a, we do the start stopping during the, you know, the rounds we do, but I know this kind of adds just some additional fat burning at the end of whatever we're doing. So we can see there's different types of high interval intensity training. But what about the benefits? You know, what's the difference between that and just straight running? Well, there's apparently a lot of them, a whole lot of great benefits. Let's look at the seven benefits of high intensity interval training. Number one, burn more calories. High intensity interval training burns more calories than other exercises or burn the same amount of calories in less time. Speaking of time, number two, it's very time efficient. HIT is the ideal workout for a busy schedule. It's high intensity can give you more in much less time. Number three, something you don't possibly think about, but it can boost your metabolism rate. HIT boosts metabolism more than steady state cardio. This keeps your metabolic rate high even after the workout is over. Number four, fat loss. HIT workouts boost metabolism and burns more calories than steady rate or steady state uh, cardiac, cardiovascular activity. Number five, helps while bulking. Performing HIIT cardio while bulking helps you in reducing that extra fat you may gain along with muscle when you're in a bulking up phase. Number six, no equipment required. The only equipment necessary to perform a HIIT workout is your own body. And number seven, it really strengthens your heart. High intensity interval training cardio strengthens your heart and improves your aerobic capacity. Getting this kind of sweat from just from the warm up from the mile, but now we're gonna really concentrate on how fast we can get it in. We're at 13, 
we're at 1306 right now. We're going to see how much of a high intensity interval training groove we can get into, all right? Just finished five. Here's where we are right now. Almost 21. And I'll be sure to drink some water in between these things. Going high intensity interval. Whew. Okay. All right. I'm finished. Paused it. There we go. That's where we ended up for today. Forty two. 42 minutes. Yeah, it definitely gets your heart going. It's definitely a high interval, intense training opportunity. But I think this is what's helping me with cutting some fat. Now, I also need to be very transparent about something. I, I also do a bit of cardio in the morning. I do this workout at night. All right, but I do a cardio workout in the morning time in conjunction with my heart treatment because I'm supposed to do at least 40 steady minutes of cardio in the morning time. So I do run on the treadmill in the morning time. So that could be helping with me cutting some 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 fat as well because I typically run uh, on an empty stomach, which helps uh, with uh, with um, utilizing fat for your energy when you're when you're in a fasted state. But yeah, this is definitely, this is all you can get with uh, high intensity interval training. This is a perfect opportunity for that. And maybe it'll make you lean into some of these other examples that we had uh, in this particular uh, video with you. So, uh, so we're going to finish up these days. We've got five more to go, but perhaps this will give you an idea of where you want to go next after we finish this 30 day challenge. I think one of the best benefits of the HIIT method is that it really saves time because sometimes you don't have 60 minutes to devote to uh, cardio, but also it's a good variety. It's good to, to throw in that variety so your body doesn't get used to the same kind of cardio because it can be ineffective if it adapts too easily. It's kind of a good way to jolt your body into getting into better shape from time to time.